right, so we are going to the Portland <laughs> video game swap meet at the beginning of March. And we have decided to make a bit of a game out of our video game hunting. And by that I mean we have constructed a number of challenges that we will each pick from three. Well, we're not picking, it's going to be random number generated. Um, out of these 20 uh, individual challenges, we are each going to get three. And then at the end of everything, there's going to be seven joint challenges that we're, one of us is going to obviously come out on top on. Um, so we're going to start by picking through a random number generator on Google, which of the 20 we're going to be doing. Uh, Jackie, do you want to be the first generated number? Sure. Okay. Out of 20. We got number nine, which is buy a video game for the last console you played. Okay, the Switch. You, you, bought, you played the Switch last? I played the Switch uh, about, All right. So that's going to be a, that one is JT. All right. Uh, do you want to do all of yours back to back? No, no, let's do it interlaced. Gotcha. All right. So this one's for me. Number four, buy a figure or a toy from a game series. That's a little bit harder for me. Uh, simply by raw context that, um. Oh, pardon me. Um, I actually already own most of the figures for the uh, franchises I like that I want. Um, but not all. I'm sure I'll find something. So let's see. Uh, Jackie's next one is number six. Buy a game where you play as a female character. Okay. That could, I could double down. Get a Switch game with a female character. Yeah, right? That's, that's so not fucking fair. <laughs> but it's... Uh, it's the way it's the way it can go. Okay, so next one for me is two. Buy an import game for a property you like. I can't double down on yours. That um well so far I can't, but there is a lot of imports that I haven't picked up yet that I do have interest in getting. I so gotta hope there's an import Oh shush, yeah, I know, right? Okay. Wow, I'm surprised every single one of these has been um Below the number 10. And it's out of 20. Uh, okay, so, Jackie, your third challenge is number 17. Buy a game from a series that has a movie adaptation. It's a little trickier. But it is doable. Okay, and my final one is number 12, which is buy a game for a Sega console. Retro. Well, yeah, well, I mean, it's super doable. Down, make it an import retro game. This is true. I could do that, and you could technically get all three in a single go. It'd be very hard. I can't imagine very many that fit into all three of those categories. There's not a lot, but I mean, if you think about it, there are some game series where you where the protagonist is female mm -hmm. that came out on the Switch that had a movie in the series somewhere. I'm sure there is. I mean... Right? I mean, any of the Resident Evils, yeah, but we already have them all. So what would be the point of buying another one? Oh, right, but... Who's, who's the little cat hunting? No, she's rubbing her butt on the carpet. Oh, oh, is she? Yeah, she's dragging ass. Hmm. That's not okay. Okay, and uh, so... Well, that's the <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, and our joint challenges um, are going to break down as follows. Uh, so each challenge we complete is one point. Um, so individually, we each have the ability to gain three points from our individual challenges. Um, but there are seven overarching challenges um the Seven deadly. <laughs> yeah right uh one of them being um who purchased the game with the best meta score critic or metacritic score um who got the most valuable game according to price charting who got the least valuable game according to price charting um who made the most variety of console purchases 
So, um, like, oh, maybe I got six games and Jackie got six games, but Jackie's uh, got Jackie got like games for six different consoles, and I only got them for two. So she would win that point. Um, most spent on a single game. Um, that is getting very, very easy to do <laughs> simply because the way the market is right now. Um, least spent on one game. That is debatably going to be the most difficult one. Well, just out of the two of us, whoever spent the least on the a game. Right? right, but like, uh, like it's just in a general sense because of how, how volatile the market is for like any collecting market. That's, I feel like that's more challenging than buying something expensive, is finding like something cheap that we still want. Fair enough, because I love shovelware games. That's true. Shovelware can be a enjoyable time. Can be. Um, and then the most recent addition was most items purchased. Yes. So it's like whoever bought the most overall items at the show while we're out. Um and we can reuse this entire format for the Portland Retro Video Game Expo whenever the fuck that happens next. Um, this year, yeah, supposedly it's this year, but it's like it's, it hasn't happened for the last two years, so it's a sad time. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll cut back eventually to um, us doing our little tally and seeing who won what. <laughs> Okay, so we have finished day one at the uh, Portland Video Game Swap Meet. Um, so far, Jackie has managed to uh, get all three of her individual points for our challenges. Uh, that's frustrating for me because I've only gotten one. <laughs> um, I do think I'm going to end up picking up a Sega game though, so that'll get me my second individual point. Uh, we'll see if I can find an import that I want to get because again uh, We're not just buying shit to buy shit. We're only getting stuff. We have genuine interest in uh, So we'll see how that goes um, Yeah fun stuff Okay, so whatnot did a uh, giveaway thing where if you just show a username you get to spin a wheel and um, if you hit a certain win then you get to pick a game from their lineup. One of those games was Final Fantasy IX on the Switch, which is an import. So I got my import. Okay, so now we are back home after the show. And we have some uh, <laughs> some stuff. For one, I did not get bo all three of my challenges uh, that were individual, but Jackie did. So as it sits, um, I did not get a uh, game for a Sega console. But we should also discuss which ones, we, what we got in order to get the points we did. Yes, we will. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. I'm going to change this over. Boop. Okay. So, <clears throat> now, here's the thing. Um, we're going to start with Jackie. Uh, game, buy a game from a series that has a movie adaptation. Well, see, from day one, it was going to be... Um... Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for the Game Boy, but it also could. If you, someone wants to try to argue, oh, it was a Pokemon card game. Never got a movie. Fine. I got on the second day the Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Alnia game, which is much closer to a, a traditional Pokemon game, which actually uses actual Pokemon instead of cards. So either way. Yep. Got it. You got that point. Uh, buy a game. For the last console you played was an individual challenge. Was it individual? Well, I got a Switch game, and I played the Switch all the time, so. Yep, and that was, the first one you got was the Battle Chef Brigade, which was the last console you started up. 
Mm-hmm. Right, but that's also my my personal point for a female protagonist and a Switch game for my personals. Oh, that's right, because the protagonist in this is female. Mm-hmm. Shit. So I got okay. A on that one. So for me, now this this one one could make arguments because um, for my first point here that I'm going to go over was uh, buy a figure slash toy from a game series. Um, so the first thing I actually bought at the show was the, uh, little chibi Joker plush, cause Joker is dope as fuck. Um, but my, my lovely wife pointed out a little dump bin for $3 had this tiny NECA RE4 Leon. His arms are movable. Th- they act- are they? I'm moving them right now. Oh my fucking God. I didn't know that. Um, I was wondering because he has really stupid pose. Well, yeah, God, jeez, yeah, so ne- NECA, this was at the time when NECA was still doing shit figures, they have since gotten a lot better um, than they were at this time, but um, this was like when they're starting to get things corrected, this is basically just a scaled down version of the full size figure, including its pose, because I have the full his one, hips, his hips pivot. yeah, so it is just a small version of the, of the full size NECA figure that they have, which is interesting as hell. It was from. it was probably some kind of pre-order. like pre order bonus from somewhere. Don't know where though. Yeah, if anyone knows, let us know. Yeah, I'm very curious on that actually. Um, so now we're gonna move on to the joint points here. Um, that's. Oh wait, no, you you uh, your import. Oh my import, you're right. Um, Which again, thanks to me. Uh yeah, thanks to my wife. Uh, video game import. She so. I guess it's not necessarily, I mean, not technically thanks to her, but also is kind of thanks to her. So there's a little bit of a story here. Um, I already mentioned it uh, in a separate video that I'm going to link into it. There was a um, thing called Whatnot, which is like a um, a live service auction Twitch for people doing uh, pop culture, gaming, and geek product. And they had a, a big prize wheel. And they had um, a thing where, oh, show us that you have an account which is free with us, and you get a, a spin on this wheel. There was a bunch of options for a bunch of things on the wheel for stickers. You just get a free sticker. A couple of options for getting... Um, three options. There were three options switch. for getting a free Switch game, uh, import game of your choice, just and they four. had four different ones. And then uh, they had uh, one gold space, which was a choice of either the Switch games or a um an artist's print that they signed by the artist it was a lo- uh, not necessarily local but a small artist um and jackie said um i want this and she was uh referring to let me change the screen over here she was referring to final fantasy 9 on the switch and um lo and behold um i did a spin and it landed on the gold space, which gave me the choice of either the Switch or the artist print. And there was only one gold space. And there was only one gold space on that whole wheel. But there was, like, this, like, wheel was big, too. It had, like, 50 slots on it. So, um, that was absolutely hilariously awesome to have landed on that. And I'm like, well, I guess we're getting that. Because I already have the Final Fantasy Seven VII and Eight Switch thing. Because I preferred those games personally. Um, Nine but... Bed. Whatever, Jackie. You can... The creator agrees with me. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, nah, he was slipped money. <laughs> Thank you, ProZD, for that one. Um, so yeah, that was totally hilariously awesome. Um, so I have to ask this question here. Um, oh, caveat going? oh shit. Okay, yeah. So it is a caveat. Uh, there is a point for least spent on one game. Technically, that was free. It was technically free. <laughs> So, do I get that point by default? <laughs> right. Do I? I'm asking I you. I don't know. No, you have to know. Well, because he- it was a giveaway, so you're already going to get something for free already. So, it kind of feels like a, a gimme more than an earning. Well, but at the same time, I didn't buy the import game, but you told me that it could count for that. True, but that's because it's an import game. Right. But you're not... Free isn't the least amount of money spent. You didn't spend any money. Uh-huh. 
So no, I'm going with no. Fuck. Okay. Because that you have to spend at least a dollar for it to be, or at least a penny for it to be the least amount. Okay. Well, and it did specify game, not item. So let's go back over here. Um, so actual game, I think I probably took because um, my import harvest moon was twenty, and so was my Pokemon trading card. Game. Yeah, those were twenty. What was the least I spent on a game? I didn't actually get any games the first day. This one's 40 on day two. Um, this one you got for 30 instead of 35 because they gave us a deal. Oh, the Tobol um, I got for 35. Oh, uh, Tobol? Yeah. Okay, well still, that's 235, uh, 130 and 135. Um, and then what games did you get on the first day? I didn't. I didn't get oh. games the first day. Well, then I got... I'm the winner on that. Day. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, um, okay, so that was the uh, least spent on a single game. That goes to me, Jackie. So I'm going to mark that. All right, what's the next one? Um, so I'm going to say, let, let's, let's cover number seven on here, which was um, most items purchased. Oh, okay. So um, let's see. No, okay. Let's start with day one, which yeah. ones were whose. Gotcha. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I'm counting mine right now. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got ten items on the first day, and you got one. Two, oh, hold on. Wait. <laughs> Okay, so let me show me which ones you're counting. Okay, so I'm I'm starting at the top here. Uh -huh. Um one, two, three, four. Uh-uh, that was for me. Oh, you're right. That was technically for you. So one, two, three. So this is why I'm <laughs> three well, you're more of a Star Ocean person than I uh -huh. am, but I love their I love all the square titles. Anyway, uh, one, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So I got nine items. And this was all in one package, so this yeah. can be one. Yeah, so that's... So I got nine. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so right now, I am in the lead for most items purchased. So how much was yours? Nine. Nine and eight. Okay, yeah. so today. And this is... uh, This was second day. I got so I'm at nine. So this is wait. Ten. Quick question. Yes. Should all three of those you got those give those uh, game cards as a bundle? Mm -hmm. So that should only count as one, because I only counted my Splatoon stuff as one. Because it came in a box, but, but this was a matter of if I bought two, he gave me a third one for free. Right. So it was a bundle. So at the very least, I should count it as two, fine. because I purchased two. It's well, the most fine. number of what, items purchased. Well, to say the same. What about uh, the two for forty for the thing? That's one. That's one purchase. Okay. I All was right. gonna because it's a set of two. They wouldn't set it. They wouldn't have separated. Yeah, them. I wouldn't have wanted that separated, honestly. <laughs> okay, so nine and eight. Okay, so I was at nine, so that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Um, how are we gonna count the? Well, that technically is for me. Yeah. And, and no one paid for it, yeah, so it's okay. kind of a yeah. No so man's okay, land. and didn't pay for it. this is for you. Okay, so. and that's for you. So I'm at sixteen. Okay, so then you're starting at eight. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine. Uh, Ten. 10 11, Eleven. Twelve. So it looks like you got that. Woohoo! Brandon gets a point. All right. What's Okay, the next one is most spent on a single game. I think that's me, too. I think that's you as well. Because um, I bought a game for 40 I believe. Let's look at day one. Yeah, so this one here was 35 <laughs> yep. This one was 20 This uh -huh. was 20 mm -hmm. um, So And you bought no games that day. I didn't buy any games that day. I got soundtracks and I got guides because I'm a guide whore. Right. Um, this, doesn't, this isn't a game yeah. anyway. Um, this I paid thirty five for. So that still puts me in the that puts us as a tie. Oh, we are at a tie. How do we do this? Because well, that was and then that made that was thirty five and that was me. Mm -hmm. So we each paid thirty five for a game. Do we want to each well, get a point or neither of us get a point because of the? What's each get split? a point? Okay, that, that that's fair. That's easy. Okay. No, that's gonna be uh, Both. yeah. BT. BT. 
Okay. Um, most variety of consoles purchased for. Well, since you bought no games day one, this is already not going to go look good for you. Yeah. So okay, but let's see here. Hold on. I got two Play- here. PlayStation Second- and DS. Yep. So I'm and at the two. Switch is uh, the no man's that, land. Because that 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 doesn't that will only count for the uh, import purchase because. Mm-hmm. Because I'm letting you have it. Yeah, well, and I kind of picked that based on um, a, a thing for you. So you're kind of gifting me a point on that one. So let's go back to day one. Okay, and you bought no games day one. So you have a variety of two consoles. And right here on day one, you have GameCube, three. GameCube, Switch, Game Boy Advance, <laughs> uh, Game Boy Regular. Or Color. Which... Yeah, and then on the day, and then I have a DS. So you got a four for. Yeah. So, okay, that one goes to Jackie. Okay, so JT. Okay, next was least valuable according to price charting. Okay. So now I need to... (laughs) Yeah, so that's where things get weird. Um, So... So to price charting we go. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. It is a good site, but it's not where I wanted to go. (laughs) Good Uh, luck. I'm not price charting. I have one. Okay, according to price charting. Okay, so let's start with game... I know, I know I'll find. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so we want to start. Let's start with day one here, where we have um, the uh, the Pokemon trading card game uh, for the Game Boy. Um, no box. Yeah. Or manual. Yeah, yeah. They they have loose pricing here. Okay. Get out of here. Uh, Twenty seven items is wrong. That's that's a guidebook. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Okay, there we go. That should be it there. This is Game Boy Two. Yeah, here we go. So price charting's average loose, loose twenty three fifty so, okay. or twenty three oh five. Excuse me. Yeah, and they had it marked for twenty two. So it's yeah, actually they had it on pretty. They had it pretty, pretty close to price charting, which this is a nice little medium. If you think they're too high and they think you're too low, this is usually in the middle. Mm-hmm. It's a nice little average in most cases, not always. So we got twenty three so far is currently our lowest yeah. because it's the only one we've looked up. Um, and then um, we've got that's Harvest Moon, Har- Save the Homeland. And it's the Japanese That's the one. Import, yeah. Save the homeland. Uh, oh no, not save the homeland. No, oh, god. no, that's what. Oh god. That's just. I uh, bet it's a wonderful life. Yes, it is because the uh, the one that's on the PS2 is Wonderful Life Special Edition. So that's it came out on GameCube first. So. So this one, but that's the U.S. one. Yep. I need to find the JP. Uh, Harvest Moon, Wonderful Life, JP. Yep, that's the one. And it's complete. So that's still the cheapest. At almost $15. Well, this is where... Hey! I where, got oh, that. you're right. We are looking at least valuable right yep. now. Mm-hmm. Um, so least valuable was uh, 14 76 so far. I'm winning no matter what so far. Because we've only looked up two games that were both mine. Okay, and it's because you didn't buy any games the first day. Yeah, I know. Battle Chef Brigade. I think that's pretty on par for where it was. The- I don't believe it's going to be much different on price charting. Because there was two different booths selling it for that price range. So I would be surprised if it's on par. Battle Chef Brigade, Nintendo Switch, 35 CIB. Yeah, and that's But CIB. yours was new, right? Uh, Yeah, that one's new. Shit. Okay, well... New price is forty nine fifty one. Well, shit. So, but there's a point for most valuable game according to price charting. So right now that's so, the most valuable. So you're you're winning on both. Price. You're you're winning on both by default anyway. E. Um, um. Now that was all the games for the day one. Yeah, only three games. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Um. So now, do we want to count this yeah, one for this? Because it's the gimme. It's a, it's been the no man's land for everything but your import thing. So now it doesn't specify here. Least valuable game purchase. We can't, we can't decide on who technically that actually belongs to. Well, I mean, it was my account that got the free spin. Damn. I am fucking like, you know what? I'm the one that told you to make a damn account so we could spin it. Why didn't you make one so you could spin it? Because I'm lazy. Oh my god, fuck. Okay, uh, alright, fine. Um, hey, if we wouldn't have won, I might have made another one. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll go, we'll go to ball. Let's go, let's do to ball. I want to have, I want to go on the table here. <laughs> to ball. Make sure it's the uh, US. So CIB is thirty four eighty. So that's not cheapest not, or most expensive. Yeah, not either. Fuck. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. I'll give. What I'll do is if this, if the other game that you bought is Hotel Dusk. 
um, in neither up nor down in in spacing, I will let you look up the the nine on yours. How oh, about okay. I know this has a following though. Twenty seven. 24. Okay, that's less. Shit. <laughs> that's, that's... But I'm still winning for... Well, that, um, for highest and lowest right now. Yeah, you I'll are. let you look up nine and then we'll discuss. Hi, honey. Yes, Alphonse. I see you, baby. That's a cat, not a real human. <laughs> I'm not ignoring a cat. 37, 87 CIV, but this is brand new, so 44.99. I'm still the highest on either way. The highest and lowest then. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because the uh, brigade's almost 50. Fuck! Okay, fine. So uh, I win both! Huzzah! Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Champion! So now... I game... mean, at this rate, I'm going to win, but I'll let you keep going. Well, no, we don't know until... Shush! We don't know until it's done. You hush. <laughs> um, game with the best Metacritic score. So now we go to Metacritic. If anyone can hear that, that's our washer and dry. Yeah. Sorry. Metacritic. Okay, let's start with Pokemon TCG. Um, the highest rated game on the list. <laughs> Unlikely. It was kind of a flop. That's why the second one didn't come yeah, out. I don't know if this is going to be on price charting, so it might not be something you that's qualified. Metacritic? Yeah. Or Metacritic, excuse me. It's not on here. Okay, so it's too old for that. Um, Ouch. Well, because they didn't start calculating games uh, until a little bit. So this is kind of like a hit or miss on it. <laughs> but it's the closest thing we really have to being able to do Well, I think that's the this. oldest game that we have purchased, so. Yeah. Um, so Let's Harvest do... Moon, A Wonderful Life. Yeah, and that one, it won't matter if it's G JP or not. Yeah. Because it's going to have the same score no matter what. Or it should because it's the same damn game. Okay, is. Wonderful Life, GameCube, 79. Okay, so, so far... You got 79er. Okay, now it's time for Because we're looking battle. at best, right? Yes, highest. Highest Metacritic average. 79, I'll remember that. 81. Okay. For the so Switch version. That's even higher. 71. For Battle Chef Brigade. Okay. Well, I'm just keeping my highest one in my brain. Okay, so we're going to do all of yours at once. Okay, so then the next one is the Pokemon, Pokemon. Shadows of Almia. That's the only one I bought on day two. 68, ouch. Well, 81's still in my in, in my court. Yeah, so. so you've got an 81. Mm -hmm. um, now I am going to say that Final Fantasy IX is going to count for me. Wow. <laughs> you really just want another point really bad, don't you? Yes, I do. Uh, hotel, hotel Dusk. We'll do Hotel Dusk. Cheers. You, you shut your mouth. 78 for Hotel Dusk. Okay. So I'm currently at Still 78. Higher. 81. To ball. This one might not be on here either. Yeah, right That's on. why I'm like... Did you break it? Yep, sure did. <laughs> okay, so to ball's not on there. Okay, now... Fine. Fine. Remember, you have to do the Switch version. Yeah, specifically it has to be the Switch version, yes. Let's see... Oh no. The Switch version's not on there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit, did I lose this one anyway? Because if it's not on there, you don't get the, yeah, you don't get it, the count. It, yeah, it can't count if it's not listed on here. Oh no. Ouchie poo! Hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't know, you hush! I mean, there's more than one page. Alright. Okay, let me just do Just put the number nine. If I can fucking type on my <laughs> mechanical keyboard. <laughs> Switch your phone. Shush, my fat fingers. Yeah, fat fingers. Shush. You just deleted all of it. Didn't you? Did I? I sure fucking did. Um. <laughs> you highlighted it and highlighted the whole thing. <laughs> let's try that one. Well, eighty-one it is. Hold on, I'm not done fucking swinging at the fences. There it is. Boop. I don't think it, it's still under all. Yeah. There we go. Fine. Oh, and it's. Now to take out the word switch. 
having a hard time playing? Yes, because this thing is arguing with me. Final. And let's see. I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to do Final Fantasy. Wow, King's Glaive did not get a good review. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to change it to Switch version exclusively and see if it's there. If it's not on there, then fuck me! Um, so, what was that? We'll see. Looks like There's I'm Final Fantasy VIII. Did you shut up. Wiener, wiener. Nine, Switch. So, fuck! Wiener, wiener! <laughs> <laughs> you scared our cat, by the way. Fucking how? By yelling. No, I mean, how is it fucking 76? Because apparently my game's way better. Haters gonna hate is what it is. <laughs> Alright, so now we tally. Brandon okay. has one, two, three, four. Okay, Jackie wins. Fuck. Jackie wins! Jackie wins. Oh, Jackie excuse wee! me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jackie wins at Brandon's own game! Nine points. <laughs> Nine points. Oh my god. Yes, you are. Get over it. Um, okay, so I, I will say this was actually really fun to do. Uh, I didn't. I, I thought I was like, oh, this will be a nice little thing to kill a little bit of time at the end or something. But this was actually kind of fun to, for us to, you know, explore and kind of focus what we look at for purchases Maybe that are still time. within our interest range. You know. Maybe next time we can put. Uh, like some more related merch tallies on there because that's a lot of what we got. This well, that's the problem. Is like I have those for individual options here. Like there is. Oh, for the yeah, <laughs> yeah. Could buy a plush from a game series. I could have had that point. You could. Um. Alpha There was another individual one here for um. Alpha uh, Buying a strategy guide, which I did. Buying a video game accessory, hey, I which I did. Guide. Uh, buy soundtracks. Which I did, uh, but I, I, I did too. I couldn't. I just could not get those polls. Otherwise, it would have been good. <sighs> but that was fun. That was fun. I like this list. I'm gonna keep it and do it again. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that was that was more fun than I expected. I'm gonna keep this little list here just because I'm gonna keep track of it. Uh, we, I mean, we all had. Um, there's a total possibility of ten points here. Jackie got nine. I uh, did not. So I lost. But again, it was fun. Uh, whoever's going to watch this, I appreciate you watching. And let us know what you liked about it in the comments if you do watch it. And if you uh, don't agree with one of our uh, our things, like, uh, you know, you don't agree on Brandon getting the gimme on the nine, let us know as well. Yeah, fuck that noise. No, I got that. That was me. I spun the wheel. I won. It was mine. I should have gotten the cheapest for that, too. No, you didn't. You didn't spend any money. You can't get it for cheapest if you didn't spend any money. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I know right. I'm not wrong. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until next time, peace out.